I hate gold. Gold is a religion. There's, abs there's some, some fundamental value to gold, but everything else, it's, it's a collectible. As, a, as an investment, okay, you're right. Hate is not strong enough. Hate with extreme prejudice as wow. an investment. Oh, gosh. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap gets you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at bitswapdex.io. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money in crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like hearing Bitcoin and crypto comments from celebrities and investment gurus, make sure to smash that like button so we know you like this type of content. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some of Mark Cuban's recent statements about cryptocurrency and DeFi specifically. We are seeing him become more bullish on cryptocurrency by the day, despite some of his comments in earlier years calling Bitcoin trash. I'm so glad Satoshi didn't go on Shark Tank. As you can see from the opening, Mark Cuban is not a fan of gold. He even called it a collectible, which is kind of ironic since now he's into collectibles and DeFi and Ethereum. This guy is now all in on being a crypto degenerate. We know that. I'm gonna to reveal to you at the end of this video the top coin Mark Cuban is holding, and I'm gonna give you my opinion on it. Mark Cuban has been very vocal about the recent turn of events on Wall Street. He says that this is real, and the Reddit investors will not go away just because the GameStop hype has died down. Thanks, mainstream media. But he understands that these newer traders are a younger generation, and cryptocurrency may be a big opportunity for them because it offers a different type of value proposition. He said, Maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. will go down again. But at the same time, we're starting to see the evolution of applications on blockchain that are really starting to build marketplaces. I think younger kids, Gen Z in particular, maybe younger millennials, have a different approach to how they look at stores of value, how they look at how assets are priced than we looked at traditionally. And he's putting his money where his mouth is. Mark Cuban has now released his first NFT on Rarible. And of course, Logan Paul is now working with Bondly for NFTs, if you didn't know. Even the famous in his own mind crypto YouTuber, BitBoy Crypto jumped into the NFT game. Actually, he was first and these guys followed suit. But who, who's counting? Me, Mark, I'm counting. This is Mark Cuban's NFT on sale for essentially 10 ETH. But if you want some serious NFTs at reasonable prices, you can check out ours for real though on Rarible by going to nft.bitboy.live. We got so much big news about our own NFTs that it's unbelievable. Also watch out for the BitBoy Comics deck builder game coming out on Wax in a few months. NFTs are the future though, and it's nice to see people outside of crypto recognizing that. That's what we want. But the really interesting stuff from Mark Cuban came on a recent AMA for Wall Street Bets. When asked what industry has the opportunity to blow up over the next 10 years, he responded with DeFi's and NFTs, not a corporation. Then seemingly understanding the cyclical nature of cryptocurrency, he said, there will be a lot of ups and downs along the way. He's been using hashtag Ethereum all over his Twitter account lately, which is for now where DeFi lives, of course. We've been preaching this same message on this channel for the last year. That's why we are heavy in NFTs and heavy in DeFi. But he isn't just talking about Ethereum DeFi in his NFT collection. He's even gotten specific with views on certain coins, including SushiSwap. Now I'm proud of never investing in food coins, mostly because I'm a picky eater. But Mark Cuban is making me hungry. I just have to make sure I can order some rolls with no cucumbers because they're gross. But there is one coin that Cuban not only has discussed, but was actually revealed to be his biggest holding, Ave. If you want to see my thoughts on Ave, you can check out the video above. But the fact is, Mark is riding my coattails again with this one because I've been on it since last year. Good thing I've got plenty of jackets. Now, the thing is, he didn't reveal it intentionally. It was leaked unintentionally. Because of his collection on Rarible, users were able to trace down his wallet on Etherscan. When it was revealed, he has about 130Ks worth of the top DeFi project. He has in the past mentioned how slow it was for transferring money, and of course, that's thanks to the congestion on the Ethereum network. The question is, does Mark Cuban know something that we don't? As I've been mentioning for about a week now, I'm hearing rumors of a massive mainstream adoption story involving Ave Chainlink and Compound. 
Still trying to gather intel on that, of course, but it's supposed to rip near the middle of February. And after Mark Cuban discussed it, it mooned just like Dogecoin did when Elon tweeted about it. But this could be just the start. Remember, I'm going to tell you this a lot. If you want to be rich, you should do what rich people do. And with Mark Cuban revealing his Ave holdings, you may want to pay attention. But let me know what you guys think about this story. What are your thoughts on Ave, DeFi, and NFTs? If any of that is interesting to you, drop us a comment and smash the like button. That's all I got. Be blessed. Enjoy out.